Hey, pretty quickly into this video, there'll be shots showing a, although just some drawings, man's head being blown up, very gory. Just in case you don't want to see that, click out. Yesterday I uploaded a quick video promoting David Blair's 1991 feature, Wax, or the discovery of television among the bees, a film which feels as though it was on the threshold of the traditional future. Now that we find ourselves in the future, the 21st century, watching Wax, it still feels as though there is some lucidity or insight contained within it about what consciousness will or could evolve into, a mental space which it hasn't remotely approached. This century has been one of tremendous despair. Another film which would have felt like a window into the future, or the encapsulation of the present's possibilities in 1995, is Mamoru Oshii's masterpiece, Ghost in the Shell. Mamoru Oshii is a phenomenal genius, one of my favourite artists of all time. When at the helm of adapting Masamune Shiro's manga Ghost in the Shell into an anime feature, he chose to create an entirely new beast. I have been told, I have not actually read the manga, but they differ significantly in tone. Some have claimed that the film is much stronger than the manga, both thematically and apparently in indulging in not nearly as much fanservice laziness. I can say that Oshi's Ghost in the Shell is a narrative wherein cyborgs question their humanity, artificial intelligences request political asylum, no data is safe, and the finite continuum of existence is deemed essential to appreciating life. According to the Puppet Master, temporality and the, ex and the ability to create unique organic descendants is a more enriching experience of life than merely existing as an aware consciousness. It is one thing to be able to copy one's code onto another system, or analyze and reproduce other programs and or create new programs, but the sheer magnitude of chance and passion which entails the reproducing of living organisms cannot be properly replicated by even the most conscious and self-aware of artificial intelligences, or so the puppet master seems to believe. Genetic code's more complicated than any computer program. The human brain may be more complicated than any computer program could ever be. Renowned for its outstanding animation, the glorious Kenji Kawai musical accompaniment, its influence on subsequent visual cyberpunk, and for its intellectual ambitions, Ghost in the Shell is worth salivating over. One thing that strikes me about Ghost in the Shell is just how dialogue heavy it is. Compared to Akira, for example, where in most scenes feature some kind of action or motion to move the plot forward to another exciting clash, Ghost in the Shell scenes mostly function as philosophic speculation, which is quite interesting. There are maybe two proper action sequences within Ghost in the Shell's relatively short runtime of 80 odd minutes. Both are extremely impressive and somewhat lengthy, although otherwise the narrative tends to revolve around characters discussing the existential implications of their world's ever advancing technological growth. The greatest pleasure I think one can gain from Ghost in the Shell is simply looking and listening to it. Obviously, I think the narrative, the script, is extraordinary as well, although if there is one immediate, most memorable takeaway from the film, it is almost certainly the aesthetic splendor of the experience. Watching Ghost in the Shell every morning would be the modern equivalent to reading passages from the Bhagavad Gita every morning. It is guaranteed to steer one's day, one's mind, into a soothing and curious, open-minded and confident, expanded and ready, a very interesting place. Now, of course, the one thing we can say against Ghost in the Shell, if this even counts, is the possibly even greater genius of its 2004 sequel, although that's for another day. And before we get to that, maybe we ought to discuss the major mainstream work which is occasionally scoffed at for allegedly just ripping off Ghost in the Shell. Did it? I don't really care because I admire it enough to want to talk about it, but talk about it next time. Anyway. Thank you all. Have a fantastic day.